Yo, okay, what well, is good? Um, I made a video in a while, so I feel like I should uh, update you guys with with what's going on in my life and and sort of uh, where this channel is going to go, and um, yeah, sort of what the next steps are for for me and and this channel. Um, <clears throat> as it currently stands, I. Uh, I'm leaving uh, Ottawa. Uh, it's been a long, long run, that's for sure. Uh, I've been here a year now, and there's been so much that I've learned, um, both on and off the table, obviously. Uh, I moved out of my parents' house, and I've got a very supportive family, but I just decided I need a life change, and I moved to, I moved to Canada. Um, since moving here, uh, I've got a girlfriend. We've been together about a year now. I met the High Hookers, obviously, um, and they took me in and they really gave me everything that friends and, and family um, could give. It was immediately, I felt part of a, not just a community, but a family. And missing that back home really sort of opened my eyes to how amazing these people are. They, they showed me everything on arm wrestling there is to know. I feel like my IQ, both strength and table knowledge, there's a way of pulling at that club that you don't really get anywhere else. And I've been to a few clubs now, both in around Ottawa and, and in Canada. Um, as well as, as back home in the UK. Um, there's a style of pooling that it, it doesn't compare to. Um, and it's not just the pooling, it's the whole community behind it and the whole, the whole style and, and just the, the people there are just so supportive. And, and it's like one family, honestly, it, it really is. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm driving the Armbeck car. Jody and Devin were nice enough to let me borrow it as I've sold my car as of two days ago. So, um, yeah, I'm using their car. Uh, I'm just um, I'm just going to go see Milo. Uh, he's, he's not around at the house at the moment, so I'm just going to go drop and see him. Um, but yeah, I really kind of wanted to make this video to, to show everyone, A, the, the power of community, um, especially in, in such a beautiful club like like the high hookers, uh, and and be just sort of explain to you what I'm going to be doing from from this moment onwards. Um, so my brother is a big arm wrestler back home, and as you might know, you might have seen some of my, our older videos together. If you've been if you've been around a while, then you'll see that we've been pulling um, about a year ago now. So about a year and a half ago um, was the end of our sort of journey pulling together. He's done his own thing in terms of his own style and his own methods of training. And I've gone another way, another direction. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see how those directions style up. He is a very good puller. And he's also a registered PT. So in that case, what I want to do when I get home, I pitch the idea that we should try and open a gym. Uh, I want to be the face of arm wrestling in, in Scotland. Um, eventually the UK for sure, um, but in terms of Scotland arm wrestling, there's not a huge scene right now. And I want to change it. I want to change it. I want to bring to life this amazing sport and show how versatile it can really be. And Scotland's my home country and I, I love it to pieces. And I thought there's no better place to to start, really. Um, so we're going to open a gym together. Um, we're we're going to open up a gym. Uh, we're thinking sort of like a warehouse, like a big warehouse. And this gym will predominantly be an arm wrestling gym, but it'll be a conventional gym as well. I'm thinking of just really making it one of those places where you can train what you need to train, train whatever you want. If it's a boxing um style that you want to train for, if it's MMA, if it's arm wrestling, 
just bodybuilding, uh, weightlifting, whatever it is that you want to do. That's what I. That's what I'm envisioning. Um, <clears throat> now, obviously, we need to pull together the the finite details, um, and it's it's a very big project. So I'm not expecting it to be a very quick turnover. But my brother and I have had this idea all of but two weeks now when I came to him with it, and um, and I think it's time. I think it is time to have a goal in mind. And, and I really want to take arm wrestling to the next level. Um, that being said, I've had the support of so many awesome people here, um, as well as being able to meet you know, some of my idols. Obviously the Larratt family are huge inspirations, both in the arm wrestling community and just in, in the general community. They're such nice people, they took me in and I've been living with them for you know, the past year now. And we've grown very, very, very close and very fond of each other. And, and it's been a crazy, crazy ride. So I'm gonna take some of the teachings that Devin taught me back home um, over this past year. I've had exclusive behind the scenes training and, and on the table as well, as well as being his cameraman, obviously. Um, so expect to see me at arm wrestling events. I do want to continue to come to events and I will be filming. Um, so if you guys are looking for any filming work, anyone that wa watching this, any camera work, um, feel free to reach out on the, on the, our Instagrams or should be in our, in our handles there and whatever through, through YouTube, uh, private message me, uh, if you're looking for any camera work, but yeah, really. So at the end of this is, what I'm really trying to say is don't be afraid to, to go and chase after something if you want it. And if it's, if it's far fetched, then find a way around it because the, the reason I'm leaving Ottawa is it's so expensive here, you know, and I work, I've worked really, really hard to be where I am and to, to be the person who I am. And it's not just finances. There's a few other, there's a few other um, reasons why I'm coming home, but mainly it's hard to get on your feet, especially in Ottawa. It's hard to, to be in, always on the positive, um, both economically and just mentally and everything like that. Um, it's a place of government. So a lot of the jobs, if you're not government, if you're not government based working, then you're not gonna get an awful lot of work. Um, it's very tricky. It's very tricky living here on your own when you don't have any family and you know the only friends you've made are um, through arm wrestling. And you know, arm wrestlers, especially the high hookers, have had such a broad spectrum of people, all sorts of backgrounds, from manual laborers to office workers to uh, lawyers to w whatever it is. Uh, and they really have helped me out in terms of work as well. As you've seen, I was working with Devin there for a while and that was great, but my contract's coming to an end. Um, I've had a f death in the family um, this week. So I would like to try and get back for the funeral as well. Um, I'm leaving on the 8th of September, uh, sorry, October. So on Tuesday, this, this Tuesday coming. Um, it's just, it's been a lot. It's been an amazing journey, um, but I just do feel like having the security of being back home where I don't have to worry about visas and I don't have to worry about not seeing my family or deaths in the family or wh whatever it is that um, is so far removed when you're 3,000 miles away. It's, it's a really big straight uh, weight off my shoulders. Um, so it's something that I've given a lot of thought to and I was gonna do a couple months back, but then obviously I had my job there. Um, and like I said, it's 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 a tough decision. I've got I've got I've got a girlfriend here, I've got so many amazing friends here, and I've made so many close connections. But I think it's time that I go back and really set myself forward for a goal. And that goal is, like I was saying, opening up a gym. Predominantly like an arm wrestling gym. Um, so I wanted to 
sort of publicly announce to you guys first um, what my plans were. I know the channel's been a little bit dry here and there. Um, but yeah, I thought it was important that I give you guys an update. I'm still going to keep, obviously, my camera um, and take everything back home. So be ready for a new wave of training, um, but not just training videos, styles videos. I'm going to be working a lot with my brother now. I'm going to show you the journey from start to finish of opening up an arm wrestling gym, a warehouse, a communal space for people to work out and get better and be better versions of themselves than they were the day before. And that's, that's really what I'm aiming for here is to always be on the bright side and always be better than the day you were before. So, yeah, I'm just soaking it all up. I do apologize if this video has been a little bit uh, unscripted. <laughs> it's been obviously um, a very, very tough decision in my life. And um, yeah, I don't really know how to approach it. I suppose we'll see on the, uh, on the other side. I'll take you back um, with my journey, obviously home, and and I'll show you all the uh, all the lovely things that Scotland has to offer now as well. And with this newfound knowledge that I have and the community behind me, and all the support that I've got from arm wrestling fans and you guys and and arm wrestlers themselves, be prepared to see Tartan Arms take this to the next level. All right, peace.